I'm coming home, baby, now. I'm coming home now, right away. I'm coming home, baby, now. Good morning. It is the last day of holiday. We're all packed and ready to go. It is about nine o'clock. Is it about nine o'clock? Yeah, about nine. Nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're going to go and take our cases downstairs, leave them at reception, and then go and have some breakfast at Stardust. Got to go to breakfast at Stardust. It's like the best restaurant in New York. Um, well, our favourite. Probably not. It's probably not, but it's our favourite restaurant in New York. It's one of our favourite restaurants. So we're going to go back there, um, go to the Rockefeller, maybe to the Plaza, see how the day pans out. But it's blooming cold outside today. Let's just give you a little, Might be a little view. Six hours sat in Starbucks yet? Yeah? Maybe <laughs> it's. Um, it's pretty cold out there. The snow is all melted, but it is. What did you? What did they say it was? Twenty minus twenty four degrees. So we we are wrapped up. I've got layers on. I've got a jumper. So I've got this roll neck jumper from um, Primark. I've got a vest top. I've got another t-shirt as well. Chris is <laughs> Chris is dressed for the cold. I haven't got a coat with a hood on it, which I'm I don't feel the cold. Really disappointed. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't bother me if it's fucking cold here. It is. It's been really, really cold. We were really lucky when we came last time in January. It wasn't that cold, but it's pretty Baltic. For us anyway. Um anyway, right, let's put it's me on. Nice I'd just kill a bit of time. An ice bar? Yeah, why not? I think you're being ridiculous. Right, I'm gonna... Just to chill out. On that note, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Before we do go, I just wanna say that this hotel has been really good. I've really enjoyed staying at the Row. It's a really central location. The room's really clean. Um, and downstairs, the facilities are really good. They've got a bar, they've got a little cafe for breakfast. Um, I, yeah, no problems with this hotel at all. I'd stay here again. The views are good. So yeah, anyway, right. Let's go start our day. I can confirm it's pretty blooming cold. <laughs> you, can see, uh. you can see how cold it is. It looks like they're putting something in at Times Square because the steps, you know, the famous red steps, you haven't allowed up them, they're all blocked off. And they're, I don't know, they're erecting something. Anyway, Chris is waiting. <laughs> We best go. He looks so cold, bless him. <laughs> Chris just said he reckons his bogeys are frozen. <laughs> oh, it's slippery here. Woohoo! Here we go. I went for a Brooklyn bagel, which is a rainbow bagel with egg, cheese, and some tater tots. Looks yummy. Chris has gone for steak and eggs. He's been looking forward to this all holiday. It's steak and eggs from Stardust Diner for breakfast. Does it live up to your expectation again? Yeah? Yum. And every time I see that I'm a happy. Happy birthday to you. Sing! Happy birthday. Dance it up. Happy birthday. Esque merchandise things. I love that. I love the Statue of Liberty, Harvey. Oh, well, breakfast was yummy, and then we've just walked literally like 15 minutes, it wasn't far, and we're here 
at the Rockefeller all up there uh, we're not going up there the, today though because we we're up there last time and it's going to be absolutely freezing um, but if you want to see what it's like at the top of the rock you can check out my other vlogs that I'll link somewhere um, yeah we just come for a look around to see is the ice skating rink still here oh yeah oh well last time we were here we had brunch down there oh was it down there brunch down there for Kyla's 30th oh yeah it's not many people skating today too cold for that although they've got the whole rink to themselves amazing they've got shops around here as well if you want to do some shopping it's a Kate Spade we just saw a Tiffany yeah Lego store I'm sure we'll be going in there in a minute for Chris I've seen you look really, really cold. <laughs> How cool is this Rockefeller Lego building? This is even got the ice skating rink. So at the bottom of the Rockefeller Centre, there's like a little shopping complex. If you wanted to go around to the shops, there's some little restaurants, cafes, bars. Oh, there's a pizza parlour there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's all, all underneath. Look at all these cakes. I like the name of this place though. Lady M. That's me. Lady M. <laughs> these NBC bubbles are $26. So we have very randomly just done the NBC studio tours. We literally saw that they were selling tickets in the shop and we thought, oh, we've not done that tour before. Let's do that instead. <laughs> Very random. It was 30 something dollars. 31 dollars for the tour and it was so good. They take you through um, the new studios. You get to see the Saturday Night Live studios, Jimmy Fallon studios, um, behind the scenes. It's really, really good. I really recommend it. I'd do that again, you know. I really would. Um, and then you get to create a show of your own <laughs> at the end. They're going to email me a video if I can find a way to put it in this vlog, I will put it in this vlog now. From, I go? from New York City, the city that never sleeps, it's on air NBC Studios with your host, Britt Hicks. And tonight's guest, Stephanie Eubank, featuring the 30 Rock and Roll Band. Hi, Stephanie. Great to have you here. I'd like to thank everyone who made it out to NBC Studios and uh, made on air possible today. Tara Stone. Uh, 30 Rock and Roll Band. And that talent niece, Stephanie Urban. Uh, wonderful camera operators. And of course, our crew in the control room. Thank you for visiting. We hope you enjoy the studios. Uh, I'm Brent Hicks. Have a great night. video Chris was a member of the audience and I was a bass player um, I the audience. you were the audience you're the only member in the audience it was really really good good fun right you all bundled up yep yep me too it's a little bit milder now the oh. sun's out so sun's out guns out sun's out guns out let's go get the shorts on <laughs> we are well because <laughs> we've done the tour we're not going to get time to go to the plaza now this trip um so we're going to head back towards the hotel I think we're going to stop off at Carlos Bakery again. I really want another lobster tail. I had a lobster tail yesterday. I forgot to vlog about it in the last one. Um, but yeah, I had the lobster tail and Chris had a cannoli. cannoli and they were so, so good. So we're going to have that <laughs> today as a round to finish off 
to finish off our trip. Yep. Yep. Let's go. As part of the tour, you get to keep the little pin that they give you while you're walking around, um, just so they know that you're part of the tour. So you get to keep that as part of it. I got my tickets, so I can put them put them in my little holiday memory box. So this is what I was talking about. This is the lobster tail. I've got an Oreo lobster tail, and it's got milk chocolate. It's like a milk chocolate mousse in the middle, and Chris has got a cannoli. So good. So good. realize that I never actually showed you the downstairs of the hotel so you've seen the room but a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram what the hotel's like so I thought I'd just give you a little view around the reception so there's the reception concierge there's toilets and things down there um, up there is where you get breakfast so they've got like a cafe up there the bars over there they've got like an internet bit over here and then um, down there is street level, and then just around the corner is Times Square. So it's a really central hotel. I've really enjoyed it here. I would stay again. I've just noticed something actually. It's like a photo booth here or something. No photo booth? How cool is this? Oh my God. so nice to get your own bed back isn't it um it's actually the next day so it's saturday now we flew back yesterday got in i think the flight landed about pff, what time did it land early morning and then it took us a lot longer to get home than planned because of all the snow and everything and roads being closed and things um so yeah so as soon as we got home literally had a cup of tea thought oh we'll go to bed for a couple of hours we slept for a solid six hours we got up had some dinner and then went back to bed. <laughs> so yesterday was a bit of a non-eventful day. We did, literally just travelled home and then slept. Uh, today is going to be much the same. We're having a sort of leisurely PJ day, no makeup, that kind of thing. Um, just chill out. Um, but before I go, before I end these New York vlogs, um, I really hope you enjoyed the vlogs. I've loved filming them. I'm going to enjoy putting them all together. So I really hope you enjoyed what I've created. <laughs> Um, we've had a really great holiday but before I end the vlogs I thought I'd show you the shopping that I got because I promised to show you I think yesterday or the day before um, and completely forgot and then packed it all away so let's turn the camera around and show you the bits and bobs that I got while I was shopping um, so yeah okay so I've kind of just sprawled it out all on the bed so you've seen these bits the other day that I got um, from Walgreens I got them brushes and the primer and I got a um, eyeshadow and a blusher but they're in a makeup bag um anyway right look, where should we start so from Nordstrom Rack I bought some trainers look at these they're like gazelles but they're squidgy ones they are um ortholite float squidgy gazelles 
in baby pink. They're the ones that I wanted all along and they were only, if it will focus, they were only $46.97 plus taxes. So like $50 for a pair of baby pink gazelles that I've wanted for the longest time. And they're not like the really hard material because I can't wear Converse because they wreck my feet because they're so hard. But these are so squidgy. So I'm going to be wearing those in Vegas. So I've got some trainers. That's from Nordstrom Rack. Also from Nordstrom Rack, I bought one of the naked smoky palettes because for $24.97, I couldn't not. Let's open it up and show you. So that's what the naked smoky palette looks like. I think I've got them all now. I've got one, two, three, um, heat, cherry, and now the smoky one. So I'm really happy with that purchase. And then I think the last thing that I got from Nordstrom Rack were a pair of earrings. Look at these. I mean, people are probably thinking they're really garish, but you know I like me a big earring. But look at the colours. They were so beautiful and they were only $12.97, so I had to have those. Move on to CVS because I bought a few things from there, mainly cards because they had a really unusual card selection. So I got a few little birthday cards. So I've got this one here and it's got showered with happy. It's just like a cloud with little rainbow droplets that move. I just thought it was really cute. And then I got um, a happy card. They're like balloons. I just thought that was really pretty. And then this one, which I think I'm going to frame and put in the office. And it's just all things New York. I just thought it would be really nice in a frame. So I got those. And then the other thing that I got from CVS is I got another primer from Wet n Wild, but I got this dewy, dewy one, Photo Focus Face Primer Dewy. So I got another one of those. And then the fattest Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser I have ever seen. Would you just look at that? I mean, that will do for my bags under my eyes for sure. So that's what I got from CVS from Bath and Body Works. We didn't go crazy in Bath and Body Works. We literally bought another hand wash. So I got a vanilla coconut hand wash and that was, I can't remember, I think that was like $6 for that. Um, I got a hair mask. This looked really interesting. A strengthening bamboo, bamboo and biotin protein hair mask. That was like $4. I got a coconut calypso mist fragrance mist it smells so good um chris got a couple of um car air fresheners and like the holder that goes on the vent so what flavors did he get he got um mahogany teak wood and a stress relief one oh eucalyptus and spearmint unusual and so he got a couple of those and then i got my obligatory hand washes i love these they are like six for six dollars so i got a little star two vanilla and coconut a in the stars one for chris noir for men and then a cucumber and melon so i got my obligatory um pocket washes uh so that's it from bath and body works where should we go next let's go sephora because they're here so i got some masks it was like three for two or four for, I can't remember now I got several anyway so I got a charcoal one and um, I got two primer masks which these you just put them on before you do your makeup they act like a primer you don't need to put a primer on so I thought they were unusual I got a lavender foot mask and an almond foot mask and then a bubble mask so I got several masks from Sephora uh, and then I bought, um, no, I didn't buy that. I got that for free. This was a free gift, a Kat Von D um, eyeliner, lipstick, and um, what's the other thing? Setting powder. So I got that for free. Um, but I also picked up another one of these um, mascara kits. So you get five little miniature ones and then you get the voucher which i'll show you because you know i got the full size one the other day because i used the voucher that i got from florida so i've got another one so when i go back to vegas i can get another one i can't open the tin there we go that's what the tin looks like so you get five little miniature ones so i've got an urban decay a two-faced a milk one um a tart 
lights, camera, lashes, and an hourglass one. And then you get to pick a full size one and then you get a little voucher. So I got that again because I thought that was really good last time. Um, I also bought an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer pencil. And then that I got for free. So yeah. And then from the airport, um, I got this on the way. I got a perfume. I bought J'adore. This is the perfume that I was wearing when me and Chris first met. And I don't know, it just, I smelt it again and I got all the nostalgia. So I've got J'adore, but I got the two, the set of two. So you get a um, hundred, no, 75 mil perfume and then you get a 10 mil little pocket one. So I thought that was really good. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think, I think that's it. Oh, I've got my my waitress fridge magnet to put on the fridge. The program I've already put in the dressing room. I'm gonna frame it, I think, so. I just remembered I did buy one more thing because it's up here, I've just spied it. I bought a makeup bag, one of these Harvey inspired makeup bags from Mark Tetro. So, you know, I saw them in the window as we were walking to, I think we were going to the Rockefeller. Um, they had them at the airport in duty free, so. It was a sign, so I got a little makeup bag to put all my new makeup in with Harvey as the touch of liberty. I just thought it was so cute. So yeah, that is it. That's what I bought from America. Um, quite a bit, actually. I didn't think I bought that much, but obviously I did. Um, anyway, right, I'm going to say goodbye for this very last New York vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed um and yeah i will see you guys next week for another video which isn't a vlog i don't know what it'll be yet but you'll find out next week so i'll see you guys then have a lovely week bye start spreading the news i'm leaving today